everyone, it's Bless, and today we're going to be turning 20 different Disney characters into animals. I'll be taking the characters one by one and putting them into my art robot, Craig. And based on the character's attributes, he'll decide what animal they will be. And lastly, Craig will send a message to the computer as to why he chose that animal for that character. First up, we have Moana. Okay, so we have a sea turtle. A sea turtle for Moana. I don't know. It doesn't look a lot like Moana. I feel like Moana is just like out there. More like a dolphin, maybe. This baby, it's adorable. I'm not saying that Moana is not adorable. This baby is so innocent. And Moana, I feel like she's just like out there and she's just like, she can do everything herself. So we'll read off the attributes now. So, first attribute is connection to the ocean. Moana has a deep connection to the sea, just like sea turtles, which spend their lives in the ocean. Okay. Next one is wisdom and guidance. Sea turtles are often seen as wise and ancient creatures, which aligns with Moana's journey and the guidance she receives. Endurance. Both Moana and sea turtles display endurance in their quests with Moana's determination and sea turtles' long migrations. Okay, I can maybe see her as a sea turtle. I think I can. Next, we have Flynn Rider. Okay, it's a German Shepherd. It's so cute, I like it. So, Flynn Rider is a German Shepherd? I can see that, I can see that. It looks like Flynn Rider, so as a, as a dog, obviously. Yeah, let's read the attributes now. The first attribute is loyalty. German Shepherds are known for their loyalty, just as Flynn Rider becomes loyal to Rapunzel in Tangled. Protective nature. German Shepherds are protective of their loved ones, similar to Flynn's protective instincts. Intelligence. Both Flynn and German Shepherds are intelligent and resourceful. I, I, I don't know. I was thinking more of like a... No, yeah. German Shepherds are about right, actually. Next up, we have Cinderella. Okay, so we have a swan. I can see how this is Cinderella. Yeah, that actually looks pretty accurate to Cinderella. And a white swan, I feel like that is just, uh, that's really what she would be. Now let's read the attributes that Craig sent over. The first attribute is grace and elegance. Swans are known for their graceful and elegant appearance, which reflects Cinderella's transformation. Transformation. Just as Cinderella transformed from rags to riches, swans undergo transformation by ugly duck from start that over real quick. Swans undergo a transformation from ugly ducklings to beautiful swans. Okay. Connection to magic. The magical nature of Cinderella's story is symbolized by the swan. Okay. Okay. I feel it. I feel the connection between them. That's good. I feel like she would be a swan. Now we are moving on to Yzma. <laughs> First of all, this is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a hairless cat. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that. Okay, let's see the attributes that Craig sent over. Eccentricity. Hairless cats are known for their unique and eccentric appearance, which mirrors Yzma's eccentric personality. Okay. Aloofness. Hairless cats can be aloof and standoffish, similar to Yzma's attitude towards others. Quirkiness. Both Yzma and Hairless Cats are known for their quirks and unusual behavior. Okay, I definitely agree that she is a hairless cat. Next, Elsa. Okay, so we have a snow leopard. That's actually adorable. I can see her as a snow leopard. Let's read the attributes that Craig made for us. Cold and mystique. Snow leopards are known for living in cold, remote, mountainous regions, which is similar to Elsa's icy powers and her isolation. Graceful and elusive. Snow leopards are elusive and graceful creatures, echoing Elsa's grace and the mystery surrounding her. Connection to snow. Snow leopards live in snowy habitats, linking them symbiotically to Elsa's ice and snow powers. Yes, I don't think we really needed the connection to snow. Snow leopards, Elsa, the queen of ice, obviously. There's a connection there. <laughs> yes, I feel like that could be a thing that we mix together there, you know? I could see Elsa as a snow leopard. Next is Vanellope von Schweetz. Let's do her, Craig. <laughs> it's a chipmunk. I can see Vanellope as a chipmunk. That's what I was thinking. Um, so let's read the attributes that Craig sent over. Let's read it. 
first attribute is energetic. Chipmunks are known for their boundless energy, reflecting Vanellope's lively and hyper personality. Quick and agile. Chipmunks are quick and agile, just like Vanellope's skills in racing video games. Okay. Playfulness. Both Vanellope and Chipmunks exude a playful and mischievous spirit. Ooh, I can definitely see that she would be a chipmunk. Cause like, she, her, she has big pink cheeks. Like that just, chipmunk, chipmunk, chipmunk. That's good. I like that one. Next is Kristoff. Let's do that. It's reindeer. It's a reindeer, obviously. I, I, I don't know why. It kind of just makes me uncomfortable that they add like an extra loop of hair at the top like a human. First attribute is connection to the wilderness. Reindeer are associated with cold and wild environments, similar to Kristoff's life in the North Mountain. Loyalty. Reindeer, like Sven, are known for their loyalty to their human companions, mirroring, 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 okay, mirroring Kristoff and Sven's close bond. Strength and resilience. Both Kristoff and Reindeer possess strength and resilience in the face of challenges. Okay, obviously he'd be turned into a reindeer, obviously. We have all seen the movie. He looks more like a normal deer, not like a reindeer. But that's okay, that's okay, we all, uh, We'll let you pass on that one. Next is Tiana. I don't see how she's a bear. I don't see it. I don't see the bear connection, but we'll, we'll find out. Let's read the attributes that Craig sent us. Determination. Bears are known for their determination, which aligns with Tiana's strong work ethic and determination to achieve her dreams. Okay. Connection to nature. Tiana's story involves a magical transformation in a natural setting, similar to the natural habitat of bears. Resourcefulness. Both Tiana and bears display resourcefulness in their respective environment. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I just would have thought she would be a frog. Cause you know like Princess the Frog, frog, it's a frog. And like she dresses in green. I just wouldn't have thought a bear. Next is Merida. Let's see what you have for Merida, buddy. Again with the hair thing. We just don't need to put an extra thing on there. I, I don't like it. And why are they giving the animals clothes now? That's weird. But it's a fox, obviously. Fox, it's a fox, Merida, fox, same thing. Let's read the attributes that Craig gave us. First attribute is independence. Foxes are solitary and independent creatures, similar to Merida's desire for freedom and independence. Cleverness. Foxes are often associated with cleverness and quick thinking, reflecting Merida's resourcefulness in her adventures. Okay. Agility. Both Merida and foxes are known for their agility and ability to navigate challenging terrain. Okay, now that I'm doing Merida, I, I, I want to watch the movie again. I need to remember that. I can see her as a fox, definitely. Like, the red hair and just like, that just, that makes sense. Next one is Pocahontas. It's a raccoon. It's a pretty darn cute raccoon. I don't think she would be a raccoon, but let's read the attributes to see how it connects. Connection to nature. Raccoons are often associated with nature and the wilderness, similar to Pocahontas' deep connection with the natural world, okay? Curiosity. Raccoons are curious creatures, mirroring Pocahontas' curiosity about the world beyond her own. Resourcefulness. Both Pocahontas and raccoons display resourcefulness in their interactions with their surroundings, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I feel like she'd be like a deer or like a sparrow or something. But like, raccoon, it's a pretty cute raccoon, so I can't get mad at it. Like, look at it, it's so cute. Okay, next one is Pacha. It's an elephant. I could see him, Pacha, being an elephant. Yeah, well, to really dive into Pacha being an elephant, let's read the attributes that Craig sent us. <clears throat> First attribute is strength and solidarity. Elephants are known for their strength and strong family bonds, reflecting Pacha's determination and love for his family. Gentleness. Despite their size, elephants can be gentle and kind, similar to Pacha's friendly and caring nature. Resilience. Both Pacha and elephants display resilience in the face of challenges and adversity. Okay, I could definitely see Pacha being an elephant, but he could also be a bear. Next up is Miguel from Coco. Okay, it looks like it's a golden retriever. I can see that. For the most part, I can see him being a golden retriever. Let's let's read the attributes. First attribute is loyalty. Labrador retrievers. It's a Labrador retriever. 
First attribute is loyalty. Labrador Retrievers are famous for their loyalty and affection, just like the strong family bonds in the movie Coco. Playfulness. Labradors are known for their playful nature, mirroring the joyful and musical themes in Coco. Connection to family. Both Miguel and Labradors emphasize the importance of family connections and traditions. Okay, I can see Miguel being a Labrador Retriever. Okay, next one is Mirabelle from Encanto. Okay, so we have a dog from Mirabelle that its name is apparently Lhasa Apso. Correct me if I'm wrong, but let's read the attributes. Loyalty. Lhasa Apsos are loyal and protective of their families, similar to Mirabelle's loyalty to her family in Encanto. Small but mighty. Lhasa Apsos may be small in size, but are known for their determination and bravery, reflecting Mirabelle's courage, charm. Both Mirabelle and Lhasa Apsos have a charming and endearing presence. Yes, that is a very adorable dog. I like it. I can see Mirabelle being a small dog. I can see that. Can't you? <laughs> Tell me. Um, okay. Um, next one is Snow White. Snow White. <laughs> Same thing. Why well, give a deer hair and lipstick? That's just weird. That just makes me kind of uncomfortable. But it's a deer, so let's read the attributes. <clears throat> the first attribute is innocence and gentleness. Deer are often associated with innocence and gentleness, much like Snow White's kind and pure-hearted nature. Connection to nature. Snow White's story involves her living in the forest with woodland creatures, including deer emphasizing her bond with nature. Gracefulness. Both Snow White and Deer are known for their grace and beauty. Okay, why give the deer hair and lipstick? That's just kind of weird, you know? Like, if she was a deer, she wouldn't need to put on lipstick. She wouldn't need to grow black hair. Like, if the rest of her hair is brown, why would she just all of a sudden grow black hair? That's kind of weird. Next is Aurora. 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 Okay. Oh, this one's just weird. It's a dove, apparently. I didn't know birds had shoulders. <laughs> Let's read the attributes. Peace and harmony. Doves are symbols of peace and harmony, reflecting the peaceful nature of Aurora's character. Dreamlike quality. The story of Sleeping Beauty has a dreamlike quality, which is symbolized by the presence of doves in the film. Love and romance. Doves are often associated with love, mirroring the central theme of true love's kiss in the movie. Yes, that makes sense, that makes sense. My one and only problem with this, why give the dove hair? Why make it be wearing a full ball gown? Like, if she was a dove, she wouldn't need to care about those things. That's just weird. Can birds grow full heads of hair? Apparently, they can. Next, Bell. Okay, so it's a horse. Now this one, I can see it's a mane, not hair. Okay, so I can see why this one would have hair. But it doesn't really look like Belle. I feel like she wouldn't be a horse. I just, I don't think she would be. So let's read the attributes that Craig gives us. <clears throat> First attribute is intelligence. Horses are known for their intelligence and sensitivity, which aligns with Belle's love for books and her curiosity. Grace and elegance. Both Belle and horses are associated with grace and elegance, reflecting Belle's beauty and refinement. Adventure. Horses are often used for adventure and exploration, similar to Belle's desire for adventure beyond her small village. Okay, that makes sense, but like, would she be a horse? I think maybe there's a possibility where we can work it out. Next is Ariel. Okay. <laughs> it's in, it's a, a, a dolphin. I'm, it's a dolphin. <laughs> that hair, woof da. I don't know, dolphins just make me really self-conscious about my forehead. Um, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, I don't feel the hair. I do not feel the hair. Dolphins can't grow hair. Let's read the attributes, see if it has an explanation for this madness. Um, the first attribute is connection to the sea. Dolphins are marine creatures, reflecting Ariel's fascination with the underwater world. First of all, let me cut in here. <laughs> She's a mermaid. She doesn't have a fascination with the underwater world. She has a fascination with the human world. Okay. Um, <clears throat> playfulness. Dolphins are playful and curious animals, mirroring Ariel's adventures and spirited personality. <clears throat> communication. Dolphins are known for their complex communication skills, similar to Ariel's desire to communicate with humans. The hair is making me kind of biased at the moment, and I don't feel, I don't feel it. I don't just like feel the tug, you know? I don't feel it. Next one is Anna. 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 
a golden retriever. I can definitely see Yana as a golden retriever. It just speaks to me. Let's read the attributes and see, well, the attributes. <laughs> ah, the first attribute is energetic. Golden retrievers are known for their energy and enthusiasm, similar to Anna's lively and outgoing nature. Loyalty. Golden retrievers are loyal and devoted, reflecting Anna's loyalty to her sister, Elsa. Warmth and affection. Both Anna and golden retrievers exude affection and a friendly disposition. Yeah, like I said, I can definitely see Anna as a golden retriever. Yeah, I think it's just because they didn't give her hair. <laughs> they gave her hair, but like not human hair. So let's move on. Next one is Prince Naveen from Princess Mufa. This one's really creepy. <laughs> ah, it's a peacock. Prince Naveen. We'll, we'll read the attributes and see. It's creepy. That's that's one of the attributes. The first attribute is charm and elegance. Peacocks are known for their vibrant plumage and graceful displays, which align with Prince Naveen's charm and elegance. Regal appearance. The regal appearance of peacocks reflects Naveen's princely status. Transformation. Both Naveen and peacocks undergo transformation, with Naveen being transformed into different animals in the movie. How do how do peacocks transform? <laughs> I mean, their it can't be their tail. They always have their tail, so everybody knew it was there. So it wasn't really a transformation. But like, I don't know. But it doesn't really make any sense, and it's creepy. So I don't like that one. <laughs> Next one, I mean, last one, <laughs> is Wreck It Ralph. Ralph. It's a gorilla with really small ears. I'm surprised. I I would have just thought it would be more ear. Yeah, um, let's look at the attributes. The first attribute is strength and power. Gorillas are known for their physical strength, similar to Wreck-It Ralph's role as a powerful video game character. Gentle nature. Despite their strength, gorillas are often gentle and kind creatures, mirroring Ralph's kind heart. Overcoming stereotypes. Both Ralph and gorillas face challenges related to stereotypes and misconceptions about their true natures. I can see how Ralph is a gorilla. I mean, he looks like a gorilla. <laughs> so, you did good. If you want to watch more, click here and please subscribe right here.